I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was busy investing myself in my personal growth. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. When I first tried Skillshare, it was more out of curiosity. I wanted to see what was there and if there'd be anything that I was interested in. I thought that I would be more drawn to learning more about editing, photography, graphic design, uh, all that that relates to my YouTube channel since Skillshare is a great resource for freelancers and entrepreneurs to learn new skills and to support and grow side hustles. There is this great class by Sonia Rasula called Start Your Creative Career. And that did end up being right up my alley. But I found that I was more, more drawn to classes relating to self-care and other hobbies. My day-to-day -day is filled with tasks and endless to-do lists. In the end, prioritizing my self-care and wellness by using Skillshare to invest in myself helped me to unwind and relax. Two of my favorite classes um, for this was The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook by Jonathan Van Ness and Plants at Home by Plant Queen. Skillshare has helped spark my interest in houseplants. It taught me that I need me time and that I am enough. I learned other ways to meditate and be mindful than just like sitting down and meditating. And I mean, I've learned so many things down to increasing my cooking skills and how to cut using a knife. It's insane the things that I've ended up learning. Of course, if you wanted to use it to learn a new skill related to your job, it's definitely there. But for me, it was about relaxation and enjoyment. So when I go to Skillshare, I generally log on when I'm bored and I look for classes that just seem fun. I absolutely love Skillshare and I found so many classes that speak to me. So if you're curious what classes you'll end up being drawn to, click the link in my description. The first 1,000 people to use the link or code amykasmr will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. That's a lot of time for you to find something that may end up changing your life, changing your perspective. Who knows? Okay, so editing Amy is going to interject here because it turns out that Skillshare is actually offering my viewers an exclusive, exclusive discount of 30% off their first year with Skillshare, which is literally three months free. Not one, not two, three months free, which is the best discount they have literally ever offered. So, I mean, I'm so honored. Uh, I mean, it just makes it more of a reason to click the link. Okay, back to filming Amy. <laughs> and with that, thank you so much to Skillshare. Thank you. And let's get on to the video. The video. The video. Vanessa? Vanessa? Girl, where are you? You are right behind me. What's up? Oh my gosh. I told you not to take that. Not until we, you know, not until the concert started. Well, you're gonna need to calm down before we go to see Harry Styles. Well, we have a few hours. It's gonna be okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're okay. You're okay. Just sit down. Feel the grass. It's so soft, right? Right? So soft. Okay, drink some water. Yeah, drink, drink some water. Where are you? You're not sure? Okay, well, what's around you? Vanessa, what's around you? Okay, I know exactly where you are. Just stay put. Everything's gonna be okay. And I'll see you in like 20 to 30 minutes, okay? Yeah. All right. No, no, all your fingers are there. All your fingers are, th are there. You're gonna be okay. Just drink some water and... Sorry, Vanessa, I'm gonna call you back, okay? 
Yeah, I'm gonna call you back. There's some creeps harassing some queen. Yeah, I'll call you back. Um, <clears throat> is, are these guys bothering you? Uh, did she ask? Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Get away. Go. <coughs> I'm warning you. Midsummer Night's Dream.
want, I could do a sniff check. Hold your arms up. Okay. Okay. No, it's fine. So, I'm just gonna spray you, okay? Hold still. Snap check. You smell so good. <laughs> but just in case, I have my bag here. Okay, so I have this deodorant, and it's from Native. You know, it's like one of those like natural brands. Well, is it? Not? So it's a deodorant and it's paraben free and also aluminum free. So this is the scent fresh mistletoe. And I know it's not Christmas, but it smells really fresh and it's like a really sweet, like wetsy scent. So I, listen, please use it. Not because like I need you to, not because you're smelly, just because I feel like you'd really like it, so. There you go. Okay. Next, we're gonna fix your face here. So I don't think that we need to put any foundation or like concealer on because honestly, your skin is absolutely gorgeous. Like, and this sunburn that you have, it's like sitting on your cheekbones so beautifully. It's really just like defining your face. I'm jealous. Honestly, I'm like so jealous. <laughs> the sunburn I have is like really gross. Okay, so like don't tell anyone this, but so like yesterday I wore this like really crazy outfit and like I wanted to be cool, like I'm a Chamberlain. And so I, I thought that she it was gonna go like super crazy, like most of the influencers. So I spent like a lot of time and money on my outfits and the one yesterday was like I had a bunch of like cutouts and stuff but they were they were cute, you know, in theory. But when I got like back to the tent or back sorry, the hotel um later last night, I noticed that the sunburns were so gross. So I'm wearing like a jacket today to hide my really disgusting sunburn. But anyway, don't tell anyone. So yeah, let's um, fix your face. Okay, so I'm going to wipe the mascara bits off your face here. So like I said, we don't need any concealer. But I'm thinking, let's do a few things. Oh, so anyway, like I was saying, like don't get disillusioned by like the horrible men that are here. I promise you that there's a lot of really good men. I'm just gonna do like blush and eyebrows and stuff, okay? Um, like if that's what you're into. And listen, I would never steer steer you wrong, ever. I would never steer you wrong. Like when I say that this person's a good person, I mean it. And I, I would always be truthful about that. I would always, always, always be truthful. Always truthful. Unlike my friend Jessica. Oh my gosh, like since you asked, like I've been it's been bothering me like all day. So Jessica is one of my friends from high school and like oh, she just annoys the crap out of me sometimes. Like, oh sorry. There's something in your hair. Okay, just kidding. Like, we got it. Alright. Anyway, oh so this is a a blush. And it's really nice because it as both, but today we're just gonna put it on your cheeks. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, Jessica, so she works with this guy named, um, oh yeah, Jason. So, Jason, 
like he's been to like a few of our parties because like obviously so he's really good friends with Jessica like they've known each other for a few years now and they've like gone to parties and stuff together and anyway so like Jason was at like this like party that we had for like spring break and I noticed that he was like looking kind of cute you know like that's all I was whatever like he has like gone into my dams before and he kind of put me off a little bit like because like he said something weird but I thought you know maybe I'll give him a try and if he's friends with Jessica then he should be a pretty decent guy so I messaged Jessica and I was like hey girl so I noticed um like Jason was like looking at me and so I just wanted to know is he a good guy is he a you know a total creep is he a playboy whatever because he kind of had that vibe but you know I don't want to judge a book by its cover I'm just gonna get some on your nose here okay so he like kind of had that vibe and so I, I messaged her let's get your eyebrows and I, yeah I told her that you know I wanted something long term I didn't want like any sort of like one night stand or anything like that and I'm not looking for anything casual and she knows I'm not looking for casual stuff like she knows me I'm not that kind of girl and she was like oh well if you're into it just like yeah totally go for it like or if you're not into him don't go for it you know she didn't say oh he's a great guy but she didn't say watch out for him she just said well if you're already like feeling that way I guess maybe okay but you know he's a good guy and like I would never it's just I could tell that she was like kind of lying to me in the message and I thought that maybe it was because like she liked him and if she liked him like that's fine like don't take it out on me and that's so that's what I thought she was lying about anyway come to find out so I was like commenting on his stuff on Instagram and one of his co surprised because one like the, who is this girl and like I love her now in fact I brought her with me yeah her name's Vanessa she's so sweet yeah she's the best <laughs> mm-hmm. but you know she's kind of like sick right now she just needs to sit down for a few minutes she'll be fine but we're gonna go find her after this anyway I was really thankful for her but I'm sitting here thinking like okay that means where's that? I'm gonna take that out okay there it is but I'm thinking to myself like um excuse me this is for your brows too excuse me Jessica why didn't you tell me this information I thought you were
So anyway, I gave her ticket, the Coachella ticket that I bought for her. I bought it for her, but I gave it to Vanessa. Vanessa deserves it because she's a real one. Listen, in situations like these, you, in situations like these, you like really find out who's your friend and who isn't. I didn't really hurt my feelings. Okay, look up. Ah, okay, it's gonna get. I'm just gonna get this part here. I just I've been thinking about it all day about how like the audacity of it. Would you like? How would you feel? You know, like do you understand what I'm getting at here? Like I get that she's been friends with him for longer than me, but you know, like it, why wouldn't she want to protect? Girl to girl, like, what do I just, it really messed me up. Anyway, I'm not talking to Jessica anymore. She showed who she was. Yeah. It's really unfortunate. I'm just gonna get, okay, I'm just gonna get right here. And right there. kind of thought, again, that she had, like, a thing for Jason, and she was always, like, saying stuff, like, to his face, like, oh my god, like, what if we were dating or whatever, but he's just, like, not into her, I guess, and maybe my thought is that maybe that she wants, because she's, like, hurting inside, she wants other girls to get hurt. I don't know, like, why would she like someone like him anyway? Oh, I'm just giving you some glitter flare, like me. So, yeah, I was like, just really upset, like, I was trying to understand what she was getting at, but... And, you know, like, in the... It's insane to me, because I've been such a good friend. She, she doesn't have her driver's license right now, which is fine. She grew up in the city, so she doesn't have a driver's license. So I would be driving her everywhere. I drove her everywhere. And gas is and not cheap. Okay. I'm just gonna get some right here. Right there. So gas is not cheap. And I'm driving her everywhere. And I'm fine. Like I, I'm okay with driving her everywhere. Like that's okay to me because she was my friend. I'm just gonna get a few of these trays here. And it's just, I give it, I've given her so much. I've given her so much. And there was even this one time I took her to a party. And it was kind of like a college party, you know? And so there's a lot of people that we don't really, like, we don't know them. And I'm kind of hanging out and chilling. And all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, there's like these two girls screaming. And they're both screaming at and they're like calling her names. They're very drunk, but they're like calling her names. And I thought to myself, like, wow, those girls must be like so drunk or something. And you know, they're just mad at her for no reason. And we actually had to leave the party because um, they were going to beat her up, which was a total kill, you know, party killer, you know. But turns out that like the girls were wearing you know, cute outfits. They were a little revealing. Turns out she made some comments. Yeah, it was right in front of Jason, and he was obviously into them, and she made some comments about how, you know, she, like, wears clothes and they don't, and, like, about being, like, better than them or whatever because she knows how to read or something stupid like that, which was, like, totally untrue. Those girls know how to read, duh, but, you know, she was just being really rude about it. And I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I said, you know what? We all have our moments where we're, we're kind of a bitch. And I understand we're all human. And I'm just gonna get your lips here. We're all human. Okay, I forgave her. I don't, you know, I let her know that's not okay. And then we can't do that anymore. But like, you know. Whatever. And 
And so, like, even later that night, I went and got her Taco Bell. She loves Taco Bell. And ever since the nacho fries have come out, like, she's been so into those nacho fries. And honestly, like, I also really, really love those nacho fries. <laughs> it's weird because, like, when I first saw that they came out with them, those stupid commercials, I was like, okay, it's a pseudo-Mexican restaurant. How good could their fries be? But honestly, it's really Anyway, I took her there, and they actually had these, like, chicken wrap things. They don't have them anymore, which I'm so angry about because they were so good. I can't remember what they were called, though. smooth it down okay. Okay. looks good girly be honest with me how long has it been since you've applied sunscreen don't lie to me I know we all really want to get our tans while we're out here some with me. I have a huge bottle because I often need to reapply. It is Hawaiian Tropic. Sheer touch. It is Ultra Radiance. Ultra Radiance. So... sunscreen, but it's not a lot of coverage, so that you'll still get, like, a tan. Okay. So I'm gonna apply this. And apply this to your face, and then your shoulders, okay? Because those are what's showing. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly apply not too much on your face, because I don't a little bit. And then I'm gonna get some on your shoulders here. The shoulder and the shoulder over here. Okay, and hold out your arms for me. Shoulders back here. Okay. 
your back's not showing, okay. Yeah, I see that your shirt is like protecting you a bit from the sun there. Okay, very good. And I'm gonna get your ears, okay? Because the top of your ears actually like a lot of people don't know this, but that is one of the most vulnerable places. I'm just gonna get the top of your ears here. The top of your ears. Get the top of your ears. Okay. There we go. Get the sun down motion all over. Get the sun down motion all over. There we go. Okay. Looking good. Well, you are a totally different person than when I first saw you. session stands waiting for me. I told her that I was gonna be there like 30 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, so but to be honest, I don't think she understands the concept of time right now. She thought that her fingers were... Uh, I won't. She'll be fine. By the time we get there, she'll be her normal Vanessa self. And then you, me, Vanessa, 